Hey guys, welcome back to another box opening for old Marvel trading cards. This time it's 70 years of Marvel comics by Rittenhouse Archives. This is a regular hobby box with 24 packs. I don't know how many cards are in the packs themselves. This is a limited box. This is number 613 of 8000. And usually you can get a full base set from a Rittenhouse Archives box and there's also a hand drawn sketch card in this. So let's see. I don't know what the cards look like. I think they're not character related but storyline related. So they show off some crucial stories and stuff from the Marvel Universe since its beginning in 1941. These cards are from 2011. So let's see. So first up we have Namor versus the original Human Torch. Don't know which Marvel character that is. Here we have a sticker of Captain America. This is Iron Man from the Armor Wars, I think. And the checklist. So there's five cards per pack. Here we have the Avengers by George Perez, another original Human Torch from looks like Alex Ross art, I assume that's a chase card, Death of Captain America from recently, a Marvel Comics die cut card with Hulk and Daredevil. Hulk, Doctor Strange and Namor, probably a Defenders thing. Iron Man, Fantastic Four, this seems to be a parallel. Planet Hulk or World War Hulk, I think. And Namor. Another original Human Torch from, I think, Marvel Comics number one. Spider-Man, Marriage, a Hulk sticker. And I don't know, probably Howard the Duck. This seems very old, I don't know that. The Death of Gwen Stacy. Spider-Man and Green Goblin. This is a Secret Wars cover, Captain America, another Alex Ross art as it seems, Hulk vs. Hercules, another Western comic, have to check how these, which are these, and Miss Marvel, the original Miss Marvel, I should say, Carol Danvers, first appearance of Moon Knight from Werewolf by Night. Spider-Man 2099 vs. Hulk 2099 Daredevil and Elektra Another original Human Torch And... I don't know Another chase card I have to check what character this is supposed to be And it looks like a very interesting set Old school Namor this is an X-Men crossover, although I don't know which one right now. <laughs> this seems like Casper the Friendly Ghost. I didn't know this was published by Marvel. This is from Marvels, I think. And this look... Oh, I have to check. <laughs> Some very old classic characters in here. Looks like looked like Quasar, but I'm not exactly sure. The original Spider Woman. I think that's Quasar. Oh, and I think that's the sketch card. Wow, that's a very awesome Wolverine. That's pretty nice. Wolverine versus Cap. Very cool. And I have to check. Some of these cards, I don't know the images. A lot of stuff from the early 
Beginnings of Marvel. Another thing I don't know. Classic Jack Kirby. Doctor Doom vs. the Fantastic Four. Man Thing. And a parallel of Namor vs. the original Human Torch. And Wolverine and Jean Grey. Another classic cover. Civil War number one. Another Namor chase card. And that's, I think, what I don't know what her name was. Wolverine and Kitty Pride. Wolverine vs. the Grey Hulk. Todd McFarlane art. Spider Man first appearance from Amazing Fantasy 15. Doctor Strange number one. I think that's Frank Brunner. Silver Surfer sticker. And the new Ghost Rider Danny Catch number one. Really cool looking set. I really like it. Another classic Namor. Daredevil Fall of the Kingpin. Another silver parallel. First appearance of X-Men versus Magneto. And I think that should be Secret Invasion. A cover from Secret Invasion. Looks like the New Avengers. Oh. Another Western. The original Human Torch again. The first She-Hulk cover, Marvel Knights, The Black Knight, again the original Human Torch, She-Hulk first appearance. Avengers by George Paris again, Marvel Knights again, and Black Knight again, so a full pack of duplicates. Another Human Torch, Death of Captain America again, Silver Parallel of the George Paris Avengers, Daredevil and World War Hulk again. Hmm. A lot of duplicates. Hopefully, I can complete the set. I don't know how many cards are in the base set. There's the Defenders again, Iron Man again, Marvel Comics number one again, and the Namor Chase card again. So, another pack of duplicates. Sadly, even duplicates of the Chase cards. Wedding of Peter Parker and Mary Jane again, Secret Wars number one again, Death of Gwen Stacy again, and oh, these are all duplicates. That's a bit annoying. Maybe I have to buy another box of those. Captain America again, Hulk vs. Hercules again, The Human Torch again, Human Torch. And this card again, which I also already pulled. Wow, last few packs were on the duplicates. That's a bit annoying. Captain America vs. Adolf Hitler <laughs> from, I think, I don't know, I'll have to check. First appearance of Falcon, I assume. Some other cover I don't recognize. Black Widow from a miniseries. And Captain America again. Classic Captain America. Here we have Nick Fury, the Invader. Um, yeah, the Invaders. I think so looks like the first appearance of Namorita. Another die-cut Marvel Comics logo with the Silver Surfer in the background. Namor again. The Human Torch and Toro, 
the original Yume cards, not the one from the Fantastic Four. Ward Simonson, Beta Ray Bill, Dark Avengers, Silver Parallel of the Human Torch, Runaways, and another Human Torch. The Vision, Ultimate X Men Wolverine. A clear plastic card, acetate card of Captain America, Nova, and X-Men number one by Jim Lee. This looks like Fu Manchu. This is Quasar, another classic Captain America. Don't know what that is, and <laughs> also don't know what that is. Fantastic Four, number one. Elektra, She Hulk Silver Parallel, Wedding of Cyclops and Jean Grey, and another Spider Man card. So here's what I got out of the box. As usually with Rittenhouse Archives, I was able to complete the 72 card base set. And it's a very interesting set. It follows the Marvel comics since their beginning in 1939 until 2009. Back then they were still called Atlas Comics. And the first card is the checklist. The second card stands for 1939. And the first Marvel comics number one. And... Um, then it follows chronologically, this card stands for 1940 with the first appearance of Toro, I think, 1941 with the first appearance of Captain America and stuff like that. And also that's um, why you see a lot of characters that are not, or cards that are not really related to the Marvel Universe as we know it, because back then Marvel was still called Atlas Publishing. And they published a wide range of comics, a wide array of comics. Um, also, they published horror comics, mystery comics, western comics, because superhero comics weren't that popular at that time. And here we have the first beginnings of the Marvel Universe as we know it today, with the first appearance of the Fantastic Four in 1961, the first appearance of... Spider-Man in 1962, the first issues of X-Men in 1963, and Daredevil in 1964. And the back of the cards always have several um, hallmarks of things they published in, the, in those years. So here we have the first appearance of S.H.I.E.L.D. in 1965 and stuff like that. The first appearance of Falcon, the death of Gwen Stacy. But there's also more mentioned on the back of the cards, so that's very interesting. Sometimes the choices are a little bit odd, in my opinion, for some years. But that's what we get. And yeah, like I said, it's a very interesting set. For example, I wouldn't have chosen Marvel Knights as depicted on the front or the back of the cards because it wasn't a very successful series. But that's... The choices they made and yeah it's it's a nice set and here are the parallels I got I pulled eight parallels of them you always can f also can find parallels of one of the chase card sets this card is a promo that was gifted to me I didn't pull that from the box um, one eBay seller just gave it to me when I bought some boxes from him and Next up we have this chase card set with some classic characters, three cards for Captain America, three cards for Namor and three cards for Human Torch. I don't, I'm not sure who the artist is, I think I said while opening them that it's Alex Ross, but I'm not sure, I don't think it's Alex Ross, but it looks a lot like Alex Ross. It's a similar style of painting art. 
And then we come to the final chase cards I found, which are these three stickers. These two Marvel Comics logos with Hulk and Silver Surfer and the acetate card of Captain America. And last but not least, the final card I found was this very awesome Days of Future Past Wolverine vs. Sentinel sketch, which is done by Joe St. Pierre. And this card is really awesome. This is, I think, the, the best sketch card I have ever pulled from a box. Usually the, the quality of the sketch cards with Rittenhouse is very good, but this blows most of my other sketch cards out of the park, definitely. So I'm very happy with this box. I might even consider to buy another one if I can find it at a decent price. And ah, yeah, what I wanted to show the chase card set I get, got complete, which are the chase cards with Namor, Captain America and the U original Human Torch on the back. Also aligned to this nice Invaders image on the back of the card. And yeah, that's what I found in this box. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and maybe till next time. Bye bye.